we are going to begin reading the story, The Terror of Green Street, written by Julian Green. I want you to first start by noticing the picture on the beginning of the story and start making some predictions about what you think The Terror of Green Street is going to be about. I want you to also notice that this is a realistic fiction story, which means the characters and the problems in this story are similar to people or problems that you may experience or you have people around you who experience. To get started, I want you to open your reader's notebook to the next blank page. At the top of the page, I want you to write The Terror of Green Street. And then I want you to draw this table or this array, two, col two rows, three columns, this is where we will be recording some new vocabulary. Stop the video now and create this page. The first word that is going on our table is fiercely. Fiercely means acting in a wild or dangerous way. Please say fiercely, fiercely. Now I want you to write the word fiercely in your reader's notebook in the first row. I want you to write the definition, acting in a wild or dangerous way. And then I want you to draw a picture of how your face would look if you looked at someone fiercely in a wild or dangerous way. Stop the video to do these things now. The next word that is going on our vocabulary table is harmless. Harmless means will not harm. There are a lot of things that are harmless, including some animals. So I want you to draw a picture of an animal that is harmless to remind you that harmless means will not harm. Say harmless, harmless. Now stop the video and complete this work in your reader's notebook. Finally, we are going to make a prediction about what this story is about. This story is called The Terror of Green Street. We know it is a realistic fiction book, which means that the characters and the problems could happen in real life. We also saw a picture earlier in this lesson. You can use that to help you make a prediction. Finally, we have two words that are going to be seen in the story, fiercely and harmless. Those are clues on what might happen in the story. Now I want you to make a prediction. I want you to write that in a complete sentence in your reader's notebook. You can start your sentence with the sentence starter, I predict. Now stop the video and do this work. The next thing you are going to do is you're going to take that page from your reading notebook and you're going to take a picture and put it into your digital reading notebook. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You will go to Google Classroom and open up your digital reading notebook. Then you will scroll down to slide four where it says story vocabulary. I'm going to tell you the directions on how to take a picture and put your picture here in the slide but if you forget, all of the directions are right here and you can reread them to help you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cursor and go up to the menu called insert. And you click on that and the very first option is image. Now I'm going to move my cursor over to the side and down to the bottom to where it says camera. And then I am going to click or tap on camera. Now you can see I am getting ready to take a picture. So I'm trying to make sure that my picture, I can see everything. It's pretty close to the camera, so I have to adjust a little bit. And then I'm going to click on the camera button to take my picture. Once I take my picture, I click on insert. And my picture shows up right here in my slide. I can make it a little bit bigger so I can see it a little bit easier by clicking on the corner and dragging it out. I can also move it around 
then there is my picture. That will be your first job is to put your story vocabulary on this page. When you are done, you're going to go on to the next slide and you will begin reading Terror of Green Street. As you read, I want you to notice the reading guide below. There's two questions that you need to answer as you are reading. So you're going to read and then you're going to answer these questions in complete sentences. You are going to make sure you use these sentence starters for your complete sentences. So the first question says, who is the main character? And you would answer that the main character is, put your cursor at the end of the sentence and then you can go ahead and type your response. There is another question below. What is the setting of the story? You are going to make sure that you use the sentence starter. The story takes place and then you are going to go ahead and put your cursor at the end and start typing the answer. This is the first part of the story. Notice it says go on to the next slide to keep on reading. So you will click on the next slide and finish reading and answer the two questions that are on this slide. Notice I say stop at the bottom of the slide. This will be the end of your work for today. One more tip when you are working with the slides, remember that this might look a little small, but if I click on present, my slide is much larger. I can read this. I cannot answer questions when I am in present mode. So I'm going to press escape on my keyboard and then I'm going to come back into this mode and then I can move my cursor and answer my questions. So remember that's clicking on present so that it's easier to read and then I press escape and then when I press escape I can come in and I can answer my questions. All right, that is today's lesson. Remember, you're going to do your vocabulary. You're going to make your prediction. You are going to insert your picture onto slide four. And then your job is to read and answer questions about our new story today.